One of the most important things to keep in mind when you're a real estate investor, especially as you're a brand new real estate investor, is to keep your systems simple. Whatever strategy you're focused on, the simpler you can make it, the easier it is to be perform on it, the more profitability you're going to be, and guess what? The more deals you'll find by keeping it simple. If you try to make things so complicated and add two, three, four different steps to it, guess what? You're going to get fed up, you're not going to make any money, and you're just going to delay your success. I had a, a, a guy that was like, oh, I love notes. I'm going to create notes. I'm going to go buy vacant properties in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm going to rehab them. Then I'm going to owner finance. I'm going to sell the notes. That sounds great in theory, but in realistically purposes, for real estate purposes, it's not a long-term thing. you got to do all this work to find the deals. Then you got to rehab them, and then you got to try to find a, a qualified buyer, then hold the note for 12 months and sell it off. You're not going to rehab it quickly, finance it quickly, and sell it quickly. It just doesn't work that way. Keep it simple, stupid. You'll be happier. You'll be more profitability. Go out and buy non-performing notes and get re-performing. Or go just buy the real estate and fix it up and flip it or turn the rental. Or if you're going to keep it and create notes, keep it for cash flow. If you're going to sell the assets off, just sell the assets and take two steps out of the way. If you want it for cash flow, buy the assets instead of going to rehab it or buy the non-performing notes for cash flow. The more complicated you make it, 